guys welcome back drip and farm for poverty i'm your host drip coach and let's jump right into it so this is hopefully going to be a short video i always say that and it never is right but uh just two things i want to cover one the DeFi dow unknown DeFi dow and the progress we're making so we'll be having a meeting coming soon and the lack of updates or development on what the hell is happening to drip and um the basically what g money and forex are going to be doing so they have radio silence as of this video so last update from them was friday as of the recording of this video it is tuesday afternoon my time which means it'll now be tuesday morning like 2 a.m in the u.s and yeah nothing so just radio silence over the weekend and again this is just strange and to me just utterly disrespectful uh to investors um that forex is making these changes um and is very still like not transparent <laughs> you know like not updating people not putting information out about it and it's just crazy that yeah still two years this is the case so i'm guessing by the time i make this video release it there will be some kind of update but the fact that literally this is the most impactful thing in the ecosystem ever and he still is just nonchalant cavalier like yeah sorry you guys got wrecked shit about the top i don't give a shit I'll put out updates whenever the hell I feel like, and they won't be on Twitter or YouTube or anywhere for you to find them. You got to come into the chat and get bits and pieces. So that's crazy. But point of this is that nothing's been updated since then. So you guys ask me, what should you do? Compound or hydrate? I can't tell you. I have honestly no idea because the information is still murky at best and hasn't been finalized. And we have nowhere to find that finalized information if it is that way. So you... The best thing for you to do will be to wait and see uh, if that's what you're basing your decision off of is basing it off of this new potential drip 2.0 180 change or just cut your losses and say to hell with it, I'm out, which is another thing I'm going to cover in this video. So before we get to the DeFi DAO, I want to cover this. So it's interesting. I wanted to do some research a little bit and show you guys this. So um, come over here to any of the decks tools, deck screener, deck guru, or whatever, and just look at the chart. And we're still getting the same like volume per day. Uh, each one of these show a little bit better details on certain areas. So volume per day on drip, sell volume is about $5,000, right? And I was like, well, where is this coming from? Is it a lot of people that have a lot of drip that they're selling or is it peanuts? And you'll be surprised. It's actually just a lot of peanuts. So to me, that's telling me one, the big bag holders have, I'm not gonna say cash out. Let me not say that. Um, they're not dumping like they were. And the bulk of this is coming from small bag holders. And what I mean is if you do a filter for this by like just say anything over $50, you'll find that there's not that many transactions for the 26 for over $50. And rightfully so, because that requires um, quite a bit of drip. What is $50? 2,000 drip. So you would have to let that accumulate for quite some time to get 2,000 drip. Now there's 308 cells in this transaction history and you're looking at you know a dozen or so that are over fifty dollars and then when we go to 25 dollars or higher you get a couple more but it's still not the 300 so i got a couple pages to scroll through and then we get to the 25th already so i'm not counting all these up but let's say it's like 50. you know so there's still a bunch more and at 25 dollars you only need about a thousand drip i say only but that's still a decent amount of drip but still to get a thousand to me what that symbolizes is someone with a max wallet and able to get about 200 or so per day and then they're waiting once a week to claim i can't prove this but i'm just looking at the data from my wallet and how i would have a thousand drip to accumulate and be able to sell um it would have to come from hydro uh, letting it build up for multiple days so my hypothesis without doing too much digging is that yeah people are just trying to get out what they can and that's why we still see this sell volume on drip now tying this back into with forex i think again we're just being gaslit my personal opinion so when we had this big buy volume coming in here that was when he made the announcement that he was going to do something with drip and prior to that he had said he's done with drip and not doing anything at all so to me, what I've seen the history of drip is that basically Forex just gives us just a little bit of a carrot to make us think that he's still doing stuff. 
and then that brings in a little hopium every now and again, or the community does something that brings in a little hopium, and that just stops the bleeding temporarily. And it'll basically give a little spike, and then he disappears for a week or a month on end, and then it bleeds off again. Then after it gets to a low, he's like, oh, hey guys, I got this coming out, or the community makes something, an announcement or whatever. But you can clearly see this like <laughs> for over two years, so it's not like this is brand new. We constantly have these little bitty green candles in here, and it's always uh, tied to some kind of event regarding something. Um, oh, I'm sorry, that was on a minute chart. Uh, some kind of event for development, or hey, I got this coming out, or a new project every month, or whatever. It's just gaslighting, like just basically slow balling us into this um, hopium so that we stick with it and then somebody comes in and buys the rumor and then eventually they sell the news. So I don't really know what the hell is going on with this, but the announcement that he made about doing something uh, was timed perfectly with um, a big injection that we saw coming into drip here, this candle here on the 17th. And then it's been bleeding out again. And then we had um, triple D launch and then uh, all this other stuff, right? So it's just all the same all more of the same stuff. So I have no idea what's actually gonna happen, when it's gonna happen, if it's gonna happen, but it seems to me when I look at the charts now that a lot of people are just saying to hell with it because they're able to have these kinds of sells every day. And it's not the big, huge ones that we were seeing before. So my theory again is that a lot of the community is just burned out and they're trying to get whatever they can out of it. So we will see. But that being said, what is the community doing? and you know, getting out of the project. Well, that leads us to the update that I have for this unknown DeFi DAO. So Kanji is putting together this uh, brand workshop. Join us for an engagement insightful workshop where we'll delve into the core components that shape and successful brand strategy. What to expect in this workshop, we'll explore the extract answers, extract answers to fill in different components that make a robust brand strategy. Whether you're a business owner, marketer, or simply would like to know about branding this events for you. Workshop highlights, understand the importance of brand identity, define your target audience, explore brand values and personality, establish brand consistency. Don't miss out on this opportunity to contribute in a meaningful way to the DAO and to enhance your branding skills and elaborate your business. Join us for a weekend of learning, collaboration, and creativity. So it's two different workshops. It's, well, let me rephrase that. It's one workshop split over two different times because it's actually a lot of stuff to go through. So if you want to be a part of this, this will be 9 a.m. CEST time, which is Central European time. So 9 a.m. on Friday for my U.S. peeps. That's probably not going to work for you. Ironically, it works for me. Um, that will be 9 a.m. Friday. Eastern Standard Time will be um, 3 a.m. in the U.S. So that'd be 2 p.m. my time. Um, I don't know. I have Cairo in Egypt. I don't even know if we have you people from there watching my channel, but that'll be 9 a.m. Friday CEST and then 2 p.m. Saturday CEST, which is going to be a little bit better time for you U.S. people. So that'll be, oops, I went back too far. Let's go back to Saturday, 2 p.m. That's this one. So that'll be 8 a.m. in the U.S. and 7 p.m. my time. So if you want to participate in this, you want to help build this and create this DAO, because you guys are all asking what projects, what we're going to do. This is the fundamental, most important piece. So before we figure out what we're going to do, we have to figure out who we are and why we're all here. <laughs> that is the most important piece. So I know there's a lot of community projects building stuff and a bunch of developers have put out their own projects and everybody has an idea and I salute them. However, what I see is that there are tons of ideas. So it's the old adage that too many cooks, not enough chefs, basically too many hands in the kitchen or whatever you want to call that equation. And we need to unify around one thing. And that one thing can garner all the energy from the space. If everybody focuses on that. And as we've seen from the charts, there is money in the space. And that to me is the only way we fix this. Um, everybody making their own project and vying for the same eye eyeballs and capital works great for them and the developer because they all get like ten thousand dollars something like that but then it just kind of loses the hype and i think that's even happening to drip potluck and we see it happening to triple d so anything that's kicked off is going to follow the same trend in my humble opinion so it's like well let's stop doing that because ideas are a dime a dozen but the marketing and the community for people to buy into your project is what makes 
a token or a project a success. So if you wanna be a part of creating what that will actually be, then you wanna join us in this brand ID, brand building for the DAO. And that's also where the name will come from as well is from this. Now, if you can't make it, what I'm gonna to try to do, I don't know if we'll record the entire thing and I'll put it on YouTube or not. Um, I have no idea, but I will be participating in both. Luckily the times fit me and I will share, I guess the, at least the minimum, I will share the feedback and then get you guys is to vote on the channel from whatever that information is. But I would love for people to actually be a part of it because the more opinions, the more concrete we can get this dialed in. So if you can participate in this and you want to participate in this, then shoot me a message. And I'll get you into the telegram. And then I think Kanji will just be doing either a uh, VC with a video share, or maybe he's doing a Zoom. I have no idea, but you're gonna wanna be there if you want to participate. So drop me a comment on this video, drop me a comment in the community thread, or even on x.com, <laughs> twitter.com. I put the post out here as well, if you want to be a part of that. Um, respond to this Twitter post thread, wherever the hell it went. All right, so that's all I got. Smash that HBO special, help a brother out. Like, subscribe, comment down below. And until next time, lift daily and achieve your impossible. See ya. Want to pay your in real life bills with crypto? How about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account? Spritz Finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real world bills and payments. They do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and Web3 wallets. Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.